Chef Khan here live. So today, day two of restaurant closures, takeout only. I'm learning to be very creative with the products I have since my bank account might not look so great. So it's actually kind of exciting. I have to stretch beyond my just daily, what I generally do to think of different things. Well, I knew I had tomatoes and I can make a marinara. And I thought, let me show how to make a marinara because it's actually quite easy. And I know we all have um, in the past used the jars, but basically by taking a can of tomatoes. And what I did was I blended up more than half of them. And then I have the rest is still staying in chunks. This just a container I used. My can was obviously a big can. So start with, as in almost everything, onions. A warm to hot pan. Now if I was doing more of an ethnic, uh, international food, I would brown my onions to more than golden. But because I'm doing a marinara, I just am going to sweat them nicely. I'm going to add the garlic before they get to the stage of being brown or golden. So I'm going to let those onions sit in the pan. You don't want to constantly stir, much as I love stirring, but you let them cook, stir, let them cook. The more movement, the less time they're going to have on the heat. And also I'm listening to my pan. You can, part of cooking is listening. When you start to hear a lot of noise, everything's just like, oh, that's probably getting a little bit too much done or something's burning. So onions are going. I'll be adding my garlic, probably a good two tablespoons of garlic. And so I'll be using Ohio Valley Chef Products, Italian herbs. It's a chef buddy of mine who used to be in the Northwest and now is in Ohio. And he does all my little herbs for that I can sell with my little picture on them, which is kind of cool. So much to cooking is about spices and putting the right amount in, or your herbs and what time. Like if I was adding my fresh herbs, I would put my rosemary and thyme in early. When you're using more delicate herbs like tarragon and parsley, those are herbs that go in at the very end. And then dry spices, you definitely want to put in quite early so they can develop. As you know, in many things, the next day it actually tastes better because was able to develop the flavors. So my onions are sweating, starting to do their thing. At this point, I'm going to add my garlic. And as my garlic starts to warm up and mildly toast, I'm going to go ahead and add my herbs. Let them open up a little bit. Do the same thing with spices. And so, amounts. This pot is gonna be probably two thirds. I'm gonna add more than that. So it's not just a pinch. And I'm gonna add a good amount. It's all about that flavor. So a lot of people fear like they'll just like do little sprinklings. No, way more. And I may add more as it, as it gets to cook. So herbs are in, garlic's doing its thing. Now's the time, if I was doing a soup or something else, whenever your pan starts to get a little sticky and things are sticking on it, it won't do it so much in this because it's just onions and garlic, but the garlic will tend to stick. That's your chance to add wine. So because I'm doing a red sauce, I'm going with red wine. And because this marinara is Italian, wine just makes sense. Alcohol is cooking off. Turning my heat up just a little bit for a sec. And now is the time to add my tomatoes. So part of them is the chunk. Now if people don't want chunky tomatoes, you can always just blend the whole thing up. I like a little bit of an element that the rustic more chunky style. So there's the chunky tomato part. going with my blended. So I probably have about half, half a pot. I'll 
I am going to add, rinse this out a little bit with water. And just add a little shot of water, or chicken stock would work. A lot of times with my marinara, I want to keep it so that vegans can eat it, so I'll just use the water. The joy of adding enough spices or herbs is that flavor develops, and adding water is not an issue. Anytime you need to stretch something out, water works, as long as you add enough spices. So, because in all things, almost all, I love my cayenne, I'm just gonna put, sometimes it's more psychological than anything, I'm just gonna put a little, just a little shot of cayenne pepper. Just give it a little, oomph. I didn't put the whole thing, just about half of that. And pepper. Good, almost a tablespoon. Salt, and I'll be testing this as it keeps cooking. And adding about close to a tablespoon of salt. Now the brown sugar. This is to people's like. I like my sauce to have, not to be super acidic, and have a little hint of that sweetness in it. And anytime you're using tomatoes, you do want to put an almond of sweetness. So, I put two spoons like that. Again, in an hour or so, I'm going to come back and taste it and see how it's doing. And since I'm doing marinara, it's Italian, I feel it needs a little balsamic. So again, that's going to make, bring more of an acid. If I was doing maybe flavors of Pakistan or India, I'm going to put lemon juice. A lot of Asian flavors, you want to put that lime, lemon, for your acidic part of your what you're developing. So, just a little shot of the vinegar. So, half a pot of marinara. It'll be on hand for something I developed today. We'll be doing family style takeouts, uh, Mackinac's dinner takeouts, just more like the regular way. Curious with the Chicago dogs and fish and chips and some other fun things on that menu. So just gearing up to help feed whoever's out there that needs to have a little takeout or have their dinner made when they are hopefully still working. So thank you, and I'll see you next time with Chef Khan Live.